Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off, in the manatee's belly. And we're just about to take a look around what is some sort of bizarre... Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. Some bizarre place, anyway. Uh, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video. So you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So it looks like we can actually go back up to the mouth. Um, I didn't realise I'd be able to do that actually. So that's potentially quite helpful because we can look at these plants. Thomas plans to rebuild the manatee's inner ear, or cochlea. They're remarkably comprehensive, considering they were drafted by a whack job. Uh, is there not anything we can do with... Ooh. What's Jacoba's this? home brewed cochlea. It should be ready in a decade or so. Unless we can help matters, right? Uh, does he have anything else to I say? See. Yes, Grumman. Uh, what you doing anyway? What you doing? I'm working on the replacement inner ear, and you should be finding me my materials. Right. I don't know what grubs. I need. Oh, grubs. Uh, funny thing about your crew. Funny thing about your crew. Oh, my crew. Say no more. I don't want to get emotional in front of a new crew member. Oh, other cries haunt my dreams. Yeah, they're still alive. Um, why do you want La Esponja Grun uh, Gordo? Do you mean Grande? Why do you want La Esponja Gordo again? It is a unique voodoo artifact. One afternoon, whilst strolling through her favorite Hexer's market, the voodoo lady mentioned the power of the giant sponge, and I could not think of a more noble gift for my buxom bewitcher. And you've been on this quest right. ever since? Couldn't you have just bought her flowers or a custom shrunken head rack? <laughs> Imagine her face when she opens the box! Isn't this thing gigantic? Well, when she removes the box. <laughs> he hasn't thought this through very well, has he? Uh, what do you want me to do, Captain? What do you want me to do, Captain? Gather grubs! Time waits for no man! A tea. Okay, well, I mean, we've got one right, grub, then. haven't we? Take care. Seems to remember we found one down on the floor in the last one. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's give Splendid. him this thing. You found a manatee throat grub! Let's build a cochlea! That's the plan! Only 99,999 left! Uh, come again? Each grub yields such a small amount of usable husk. By calculations, I'll need another hundred thousand. Uh, what? Well, we're not waiting <laughs> right. for that. This is no laughing matter, Three Willow. We don't have time Wood. to collect that many grubs. On the contrary, time is all we do have. Rest assured, it's <laughs> not will really. Pay off in the end. This is bananas. New plan: find the actual cochlea. Yeah, it's, you know it's gone wrong when Guybrush is the one coming up with the. Genius plants. What is that? Manatee uvula. Well, it's a delicacy in some cultures. What is uvula? Is that like tonsils or something? I have no idea what that is. Anyway, um, what is this? Strange growth. Mm. That looks disgusting. Can we poke that with this sword or something? I don't want to cut that. No. Can we poke it with the hook? I'm gonna have to adjust no. to life with the hook hand. For starters, I shouldn't do that. Definitely gotta do something with it though. Hey, right, well, Morgan. What is it? What's with the attitude? I thought you were a fan. Hey, what's with the attitude? I thought you were a fan. I am a fan. I just thought I was a fan of a ruthless buccaneer, not some sensitive pastry chef. Hey, pastry chefs are tough as nails. <laughs> you know you can't just go through life cutting throats. You know, you can't just go through life cutting throats and de-handitating people. Oh yeah? De-handitating? Yeah. Watch me. Is that a technical term? I need to infiltrate the Brotherhood and find the missing cochlea. I need to infiltrate the Brotherhood and find the missing cochlea. Sounds like a personal problem. Fine, you're a lot of help. Talk to you later. Okay, I'll be back later. Take your time. Pretend wives sure are fickle. <laughs> what my real life is up to? Probably pining away for her mighty pirate husband. Are we gonna see? Yep, we are. <laughs> oh, they're right above us. 
There's something about the open ocean that makes a man feel alive. I would imagine that simply having a pulse is a bit of an upgrade for you. <laughs> <laughs> How many more of these filthy creatures do we need to unload before we can meet up with Guybrush? Dozens. Seven more islands and one peninsula should suffice. Seven? Listen, Chucky. Drop all the simians on the next patch of dirt we pass and then we find my husband. We can't do that, Elaine. These monkeys need to be given proper homes oh my God. from each other for their comfort and happiness. The ships can roast on an open flame for all I care. <laughs> Elaine, you don't mean that. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. I do Oh, the pox is spreading, look. Lush homes all around. I do apologize for the inconvenience. No need to apologize. Actually, it's crazy to say this, but I'm proud of you. Really? Look at you, going out of your way to set things right. Who ever thought LeChuck would do such a thing? It's only the beginning. Why do I get the feeling that she's not being genuine when she says that. Dunno, I think there's more going on there than Hello, what meets the eye. Is it Murray? Looks like Murray. Strong silent type, huh? Strong silent type, huh? Guybrush Threepwood is the mightiest pirate ever, agreed? Guybrush Threepwood is the mightiest pirate in all the Caribbean and LeChuck is a pansy. Say nothing if you agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Must be true. Catch you later. Don't work too Catch hard. You later. Don't work too hard. All right. Let's talk to this guy with the big horn thing. What is this? Bar tap. Whoa, brother! Watch the brew. Party foul. Sorry. What the hell is Do that? You really like this stuff? Walrus whiskers tickle when they kiss you. Boy, do they! Not going to ask why either if those know where. But that's um that's true. Hi there, Guybrush Three Boy. Hola, I'm Moose, and that's my boy Santino. He has a name? Uh, yeah. It's more of a moniker, like the Santino. He's the coolest cat I've ever known. Yeah, he's dead, right? Ah, right on, dude. Can I interest you in a beverage? That's quite the straw. Sometimes <laughs> you just want a quick rush of Icor. This baby does the trick. I really shouldn't. All right, man. But that means you gotta double up next time. Fair enough. Look at his armpit hair. <laughs> Is there a substantial amount of lead in your drink? <laughs> Is there a substantial <laughs> amount of lead in your drink? Nah, no, man. This is pure, unfiltered icor. I got hooked what is on this I stuff when we landed down here. It's like some sort of You're gross body it. fluid, you right? You better believe it. And it flows in abundance, my friend. Okay, tell me about Icor. Any favorite vintages? Tell me about Icor. What sort of varietals does it come in? Any favorite vintages? Three years ago was a solid year. Potent stuff. This here's the orange. I dig it. It's got a bubbly effervescence with a tangy palate. Watch out for the yellow stuff you see in the pools, though, man. The stuff will peel the shell off a Nautilus. Gross, okay. Um, what's with the funnel? What's with the funnel? That's Jumbo Jimbo, my custom drinking apparatus. I break it out for special occasions. Like lunchtime? It's important to celebrate life, brah. Uh, okay, I propose a toast. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Diwali, Pirate History Month, Fruit Tuesday. Let's do the Day of the Dead. Dia de los Muertos. Wait, see, I did to get this guy. Ooh. Can we do this while he's distracted? Right, I'm guessing we can fill something up while he's drinking. Sounds like he's busy. Okay, now what we need to fill up, I do not know. Uh. There was a way we could go further down here. Oh, here we go. 
Let's finish talking to Moose then. It looks like Hi. we know what we've got uh, to do. Uh, what can you tell me about the missing cochlea? What can you tell me about the missing cochlea? Nothing. That's a secret for brothers only. Alright, jeez. Uh, well, I'd like to join the group. I've been I want to be I'd a brother. Like to join your group. You'd have to talk to Bug Eye about that. He's our unofficial head honcho, hombre. Alright, I'll talk to See him about it then. On. Screw you. Go back to drinking your whatever the hell it is. Um, gr oh, there's a grub. Ew. Slimy grub. <laughs> I'm sure why he had to do it like that. Guy what Guybrush picture did that say? An original signed Guybrush Streetwood. What the hell? Morgan's gonna want this back. Who was that? It's a picture Morgan clipped of me. I think this was taken right after I saved the village of Kaflu from a lava slide whilst constructing the cutlass. Or it's from a wanted poster. It's hard to say. <laughs> Could be either, to be fair. What the hell is this thing? There's another grub. Ooh, one at a time. The last thing I need is them colonizing my trousers. Good point. Um... Why does it still say the Guybrush? The original signed what Guybrush Street What the hell? Morgan's gonna want this back. It's like a bit glitched out, isn't it? And it picked up... I don't know. Right, Bongo. It's Bongo Pirate. Weird bump. Hmm. What is the deal with the weird bumps? Okay, let's talk to the Bongo Pirate. Ahoy there! Oh. Hi. You're in charge of the tunes, huh? I just like to play. It relaxes me. I can relate. I went through a mouth yeah. phase. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. I'm Noogie. What's your pretty girlfriend's name? Oh, she's not really my girlfriend. Her name's Morgan LaFlay. Why? You think she's hot stuff? Well, yeah. <laughs> She'd chew you up like a pinky finger in a piranha pool. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure it is, man. Choice Beats. Um, you enjoy it down here? Tell me about the cochlea. I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. Oh, well. I've just realised the bongos are something else. Oh, you should talk to him. Okay. Uh, can you hear something more up tempo? I like the it's beat. Like some part of the manatee. I like something a little more up tempo. Like this? I dig it. <laughs> Ah. Okay. Uh, you enjoy it down here? You enjoy it down here? Oh, yes. I would have never been able to abandon Coronado to Cava. But once we split, I realized what I'd been missing. I'll never work for another tyrant again. Democracy makes life worth living. It gives me a voice. <laughs> the humidity doesn't get to you? You adjust to it. <laughs> No comment. Tell me about the missing cochlea. You seem like a stand-up sort of guy. Tell me about the missing cochlea. Never. I made a promise of brotherhood with these men, and I'll never break it. It's a secret for brothers only. Fine. Bye, Noogie. Bye. Keep playing those bongos, man. Where are we going now, down here? Festive skull. Festive? <laughs> Oh, there's a pile of treasure, look. So when he does the bongos, Piles it makes that drop. Treasure. All right. But what I need is a voodoo-sucking sponge. Yeah, yeah. Let me what out is of that? here and I'll spare your miserable life. Oh my god, could it be? Legs. It's locked. Could it really be? Oh my god, I need to figure out how to open the chest. That's one angry monkey. Like, baboon angry. Whoa. It's kind of scary. Uh, there's a painting here. The plaque reads, Fish Eyes Alabaster, Anarcho-Socialist Pirate Philosopher. One day I hope my portrait has such a fancy plaque. Soiled and forgotten in the bowels of humanity. Can we put our picture on there? Nah. No, okay. Uh, there's strange growth, some weird bumps here. Ooh. Moist. Oh! Oh! expedient. It's like a teleportation thing. That's gross. 
pretty cool actually. Uh, Iron Monkey, look at that thing. Can't reach it. Uh, okay. Where does this one take us? Oh, nice. So it's like a fast travel system. What about the last one? Oh, what the hell? Didn't work. Well, that's not gonna work. Oh, it's clogged. Can we send a grub down it? Every grub I waste no. is one. One more I've got to pick up. Yeah, that's true. We've got like 100,000 more. Feel my legs. Can we pick this with the hook? I think it might be doing something. There. All unlocked. My hook is pretty handy. Please, please, please. Uh, but sometimes I miss the old opposable digits. Yeah, can imagine why. Oh, there's the hand. The molecules are synthesizing. The formula is actualizing. Science! I have science here! Is he trying to re... What the hell? Is he extracting the pox as like some sort of weapon? Uh, here we go. Foolish mortal, you have a it's Murray. Upon all your feeble fleshy kind. <laughs> I thought it was very funny. Hi, Murray. Three points. <laughs> oh, I my God. I have expected this. Long time no see. How'd you get trapped in here? How the hell is he here? Okay, what were you doing before you chose to hang out in the treasure chest inside of a manatee? Well, my legions of undead marines had brought an armada of Spanish clippers to their knees when a mighty tempest tossed our ship. I don't remember hearing about any battle with the Spanish armada. Ha! As if we would allow a soul to live to tell the tale. <laughs> would you like some help? Help? Ha! Help? I will end you. Okay, oh, not this help. again. Nice talking to you, Murray. Um, maybe a little. <laughs> Come again? Perhaps a lift. Oh, you'd like help. Let's go, pal. Ah, it's dark in here. And why does it smell like rotten marmalade? Don't ask. Uh, is there anything Nothing else in there. there? Guess it only had room for one demonic skull. So I guess his shift at um, Planet Threepwood came to an end. Anything okay in here? You gotta get rid of this grub. I almost swallowed it. It's so <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Have a good time. I love it. You and I should team up to take over the manatee, sail it to Booty Island, and sack the harbor in a storm of blubber. I'll take it under advisement. How's it going, Murray? Awful. Your legs are sweaty. Oh, yeah, God. I'm a leg sweater. Sorry about I that. I want to think about it. Everything okay in here? Just great. I've traded the interior of a dark and musty treasure chest for the even darker and mustier interior of your pocket. <laughs> God, I love Murray. Everything okay in here? You gotta get rid of this grub. I oh, that's all he has to say. It's still. It's not all right, all right. Here. Is he just gonna talk the whole time? Seahorse remains. The rotting remains of one of those seahorse thingies. Oh, the seahorse eats plankton. The beasties. The manatee eats the seahorse. Mutineers hijack the manatee. Ah, the circle of life. Yes, that well-known circle of life. So is this the guy who's the leader? Ahoy there! I'm sorry, I don't think I got your name. It's Bug Eye. Well, I've been doing some thinking right, and I'd like to join the Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. Is that so? Yes. Yep. That's why I said I'm it. Applying to the oligarchical society of the alpaca farm as a safety. <laughs> this wouldn't have anything to do with a missing cochlea, would it? No way. No. I just like the cut of your jib. Well. Admittance is as simple as a unanimous vote, even for a pirate such as yourself. We're a democracy, after all. Okay. Noogie, Moose, Santino, and myself founded our collective after growing tired of slaving away on the crews of tyrannical adventurers, always after some meaningless trinket. Mm. Like, say, a giant sponge? Precisely! We're never going back to our old lives. The Brotherhood was formed to make sure this adventure is a never-ending one. 
never ending Monkey Island. Island. Oh, I'm down Would for you that. Like me to call a vote? Yes. Yes. I'm a shoe in. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Okay. Good. What say Brother you? Nugget, concerning the initiation of one guy brush threepwood. What say you? Uh no. Uh, no, I don't Why? think so. What's he got to offer? Brother Moose. Lots. What say you? No, I gotta vote with my boy Santino on this one. Ah. Ah. An obvious no. What? This is ridiculous. Yeah. No, nah, bro. And of course, my vote, which is no. Shocker. Not a single yay. This is worse than when I ran for class president. <laughs> so we're going to have to find a way to get them to say yes. I'm not sure what that is yet, but I have got an idea of how we can get a Santino to say yes. And I reckon that involves distracting this guy. Moose. Hi. What's up? Uh, let's ask this first. Think I could count on your vote? Man, that's a tough one. I try not to get too wrapped up in the politics of the group. That's the beauty of democracy, man. Let other people make the big decisions, and you can just ride the wave. Right, so I he wants Santino. Santino there you goes go. in for. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do another toast. toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Uh, it is take your daughter to work day. Take your daughter to work day. Now I reckon what we can do if only I is could put Murray's head here, right? Give Murray a body. Yeah. Well, it's not a clip on. Uh, can we take it off with the sword? Ah, oh, what? And then if put Murray's head on it? Oh. Is he still drinking? The old switcheroo. There we go. Chuck that in the acid. Threepwood, you have made the greatest mistake of your life. In my new corporeal form, I will scorch these lands to the ground, only to rebuild them in my nefarious almighty image. Oh, right. you like your new setup? I do. Santino, bro, you want to spot me on this one? Men pledge <laughs> their allegiance to me. Our brotherhood is a bond forged in the flames of hell. North. Perhaps I will revel in this union of brothers for a moment. Before Do it. World. Terror will come to this manatee, rest assured. Alright, well for now, vote for me in the Brotherhood, yeah? And then old Moose will vote for me as well. The question is going to be, how do we get Bongo guy to vote for us? And how do we get the main leader to vote for us? I guess we're going to have to figure that out in the next one, because we are out of time. But holy crap, it is good to see Murray again. One of the best characters in the whole Monkey Island series, in my opinion. And it's amazing to have him back in the game. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.